Bryson. What are you doing? I got you coffee. You are an awesome husband. Look what I found in my trunk. Who's Christmas it? stuff. Christmas of course. Things. Well, we pretty much live out of our cars. I do. It's a mobile home, literally. What are the plans for today? I'm about to go take Caleb and my mom to the airport because they're going to Washington, D.C. They're flying out this morning. And then I'm going to come home and drink my keto chow and then head off to the office. Ah, our breakfast choices. I don't even know what that is. That's taco. What do you want? Chocolate? I think I'd like some chocolate, please. Chocolate. And I need an orange. That's taco. Here's an orange. I hope it's orange, because it's orange colored. Orange. Joe. Day two. It's a brand new morning. I'm excited. I'm, I'm enjoying Tuesday so far. I love getting to wake up with her. <laughs> Of course, we've been up since 5 a.m. and it's like, what, 8.15. I've already been to the airport and back. I've been to the post office and back. Well, I'm going to dampen your mo morning a little bit. Are you going to stick me? I'm going to stick you. It's finger stick time. <laughs> Let's go. This is never the best part of the day. Ooh. Squeeze some blood out. It's, We're just going to do ketones today. Just for It's just for a minute. Three, two, one. Point seven. seven. So, point seven. So, pretty much where you were yesterday. Yeah. Y yesterday, you were at a point eight. Point eight. I'm really interested to see mine. Can you pass me a piece of paper towel, sir? I'm really, I'm really interested to see mine because I usually wake up like point three on a keto on the keto coach. Really. Like point two, point three. So. No explanation for it. I feel great. I don't eat carbs. So, let's see. And then later in the day, you go up. I go up, yeah. But generally, I mean, I usually, because I don't do BHBs or anything like that, I generally hover right around 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Um, you know, anywhere between 0.4 and 0 0.6, unless um, I'm fasting. And usually when you fast, you, you pull something pretty you can't get any blood numbers let's say oh point, point six, six. All right. so again higher than i normally am in the morning nice so well i'm very excited why we are seven months into this year and i have finally decided to get organized so i went to walmart and I got a um, like a, a weekly planner, but it also has like hourly. Oh my gosh! You got blood all I over it. I just got blood on it. Ew, that's so wild. <laughs> you realize that this is 2019, mm -hmm. and nobody uses a paper organizer anymore. I do. I like to see stuff. Your phone has this awesome thing called a calendar, <laughs> and it allows you to like put everything in there and then that little thing shows up on all your devices like it'll show up on your iPad it'll show up on your computer it'll show up on somebody else's computer if you log into your account when you're done I will share with you that I feel about planners and calendars like I feel about books like I know like I could read a book on my Kindle but I need to hold it it's like completely different I know but then you you do this with these planners all the time and then you like misplace the planner and get another one. I think you've got like 15 planners laying around the house. Well, I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one's gonna be different. We're gonna go in the pool and we're gonna hold on to this planner. That's what we're doing. Okay, so I'm drinking orange cream. And I'm drinking chocolate. So this orange cream has coconut oil in it. And how much coconut oil did I add total yesterday? A lot. Oh, 13 and a half. It was 13 and a half tablespoons. So that was for three so what is this going to be this is going to be about four and a quarter four and a third tablespoons of coconut oil you want to do the math in mine and well yours i know exactly yours yours is going to be two ounces of butter yay and then i actually added a bunch of water because i found it like really thick yesterday mm -hmm. plus i want more volume because you know with the coconut oil i didn't get as much so well 
I'm telling you, when I finish this, I'm pouring the rest of my coffee down in here and swishing it around. Oh yeah, we found that yesterday, that because, you know, after you're done, you get like all the residual stuff left over in the cup, fill it up with coffee or even water and wash it out, you know, but with the coffee, it gives you like another fat coffee. I know, it's really good. I don't wanna waste anything. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say this, I really like it the next day. Like it's like, tastier right it's like more of the flavors have infused into the it's alive yeah i did want to say that i got on the scale today again and i was 146.8 yesterday 146.3 today i'm not telling you what i weighed what did you go down yeah you're gonna get mad why what happened i'm down a pound and a half from yesterday <laughs> men men the bottom line is we know that your weight fluctuates. You see we're eating the same thing, right? You, you like ate like literally like 1,200 calories every day since we came home from KetoCon. There is no way you're up three and a half pounds, um, you know, since coming home from KetoCon. You just didn't eat enough calories and you never went off a of plan. You were actually eating, a, you know, a shake every day and some ground beef. There's too many things to factor in with a woman. Seriously. One of which I'm probably coming up on that time of the month again. <laughs> when, you, when you get really cranky, that time of the month? Well, that's how I know it's that time of the month because you've been cranky. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just teasing. She has not been cranky at all. Actually, she's been in the best mood in a long time. I really think, like I said in you know yesterday's vlog when I was bike riding, KetoCon just refocused us, right? Like, this yeah. is what we want to do. We just want to make a difference. There's a purpose to our life. Yes, it definitely has focused us, focused us on this purpose. So. Yeah. So, what are you doing now? I'm going off to meetings. You want to do what I got to do? Yeah, you got to I got to take Tabitha that. down. Well, first she's got to go down to the Humane Society to get her rabies shot. Because it's time for that again. Then I gotta go find a low cost vet because she's having some skin issues. I don't know what happened to her. She got into something. She had like these little rashes everywhere. I've tried changing her food, thinking maybe she was eating too much protein. Yeah. But she's got these little rashes and like some of her hair came out. And but the funny part is now there's no marks on her, but her hair has still gotten real thin. Yeah. And so that right, like there's no like sore. And then or she's anything. got like some kind of thing around her mouth. But, but I she think got that's a boffo toad. She got into a boffo toad a couple of months ago, and I don't know if that did something to her mouth maybe that did something to her skin Who i knows? try so much to like not let her go out unsupervised sometimes especially at night she will dart out the door and she goes straight for them she's like in love with them yeah i don't know why because i'm not in love with them grayson grayson you say hi Say hi. Grayson. Grayson is very camera shy. Actually, he's people shy in general. He talks all day long until there's somebody new in the house. Let's go back. love watching him climb. And then we have Roscoe, who will spend the entire day just laying here. Till it's time to go out at night to go hunting for mice and birds, bring them home, drop them on Rachel's head for a present. Roscoe! This is the best cat in the world. He's like 12 years old. Roscoe! Tabitha, this should be interesting. I have no idea how to get this thing on her, and I don't think she likes getting it on her. Aw, she's trying to help you out. Get down. How does this thing work? You have to, like, lay it straight out, and then she's, like, supposed to step into it, but she gets so excited at the prospect of, like, getting to go with you someplace that she almost can't, like, restrain herself. Okay. No, come here. Sit. 
Give no, sit. Sit. She's like, I love you. Sit. Give me your foot. Okay. No. No. Put your foot back in it. This is hilarious. Tap. She's too big. Okay, that's it. Now I got you. Is like, it on wrong? She's like, but do you though? Do you have me? Oh my gosh, it's too small? No, you gotta like move the thing in the middle between her legs. I got it! Yay! She's like, cool, where are we going? Somewhere fun, right? Dog park, right? Yeah, definitely. Sit. Wait till she finds out she's going to the vet. Nope. Sit. She's so sweet. Stay. You know what we should show them? You guys want to see a really well-trained dog. I know she doesn't look well-trained, but this is actually good. well-trained. Watch. Tabitha, sit. Stay. Ready? Nope, sit. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. She will sit here all day and not touch that She's food. She's such a good girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. Aw, isn't she the best? But look at her skin irritation. I know. It's like wigging us out, man. I don't know if she got into like an ant pile. Well, we're not taking any chances. No. We're going to the doctor. We're going to the vet. And she's done. She's like, we have to get her the bowls that have like a puzzle element to them. Because, yeah, yeah she just corks down her food. Come here. She's definitely my child. I love you. Okay. We're going to the vet. Let's go. Okay. I like when she does the horsey thing. She's like front front legs, back legs, like she's just rocking. Are you so excited? Is this the best day ever? Rachel! <laughs> so it's lunchtime. Lunchtime. And I'm having vanilla. You're having vanilla. I'm having the taco. This is the taco base. Mm -hmm. But this one's made with butter. And it's really good, but I did find I want more salt. I think I'm so used to adding so much salt onto my diet. Did you put some Redmond in there? So I put a bunch of Redmond salt. I don't even measure it. Like I just like pour it in. How do you like it with the butter versus the duck fat? I like, well, I like it with the butter because obviously, I mean, look, I have a lot more. Yeah. You know, but I did like it with the duck fat, but I enjoy duck fat, but duck fat does have a taste. I thought it had a really strong taste. Like I would, I'm, let me try the butter. I haven't tried it. You're stealing my calories. Oh yeah, I like that way better. Yeah, I'd like to try it with tallow as well. I want to try it with some beef tallow. Yeah, because surprisingly, honestly, like beef tallow doesn't really have a strong flavor. Right. And it's like pretty cool in those little briquettes that you make. It was funny. I was driving today. You know, like I went to the vet, and mm. when I was driving, like I was just like, wow, I just want something. So I have one of those little travel bottles of Redmond Real Salt in the car. Yeah. I was just like dumping it in my mouth as I was driving. Um, okay, so back to the vet. Are we broke? Are we like, yeah, we're broke. We're, we're out? Yeah, we're, we are definitely broke. So she got her annual rabies thing, and then they didn't want to give her the, um, like, her, what is the booster shots? Right. Because they're like, well, the booster shots, like, something's going on with her skin. So we went to the Humane Society, because the Humane Society only charges $20 for the rabies shot. And then from there, I we went to the budget. vet. And... Yeah, so three hundred and fifty dollars later in medications to find out that basically she's allergic to fleas. Her, her fleas. She's allergic to fleas, and she had like two fleas, yeah. but she's allergic to both of those guys. Well, what the vet said to me was that um, basically the less fleas you see, probably the more of a chance that she is really highly reactive to the fleas. Wow! Because she'll get them off of her super quick, but she's like, it only takes one flea bite. But they checked her for my, they checked her for like any kind of like, you know, like uh, a, an infection or anything like that. They're like, she doesn't have any of that. 
that this looks like a classic flea, like being allergic to fleas. Oh my God. And we do flea treatments. Yeah. So what she said, like she told us like, don't use any more of the topical stuff because it comes off, especially if she likes to roll around, which she does. And uh, so they gave me like a pill one where it's like a chewable. Okay. And she gobbled right up, but it lasts say, for three she, months. She's the perfect dog for, for oral medication because she will eat anything. Yeah. Now the only thing is, is it was really interesting trying to control her because she doesn't usually go to the vet that often. You know, she just gets her shots. I mean, and, and she loves. She everybody. hasn't been in a vet since we got her last year. She's been super healthy. And so I take her there, and she smells all the other dogs, and I could not control her. She is so strong, and it was just like I mean, like I had like strap marks around my hand well, trying she, to hold her. Meanwhile, in here, like you can say no, and she immediately she, stops. Yeah, but there's like there's a lot of smells, yeah. and also there's lots of new people to meet, and she wants to meet everybody. Mm -hmm. She loves everybody. Yeah. So yeah, so we're three hundred fifty dollars broker plus the money of, and it, at least the office visit was only twenty dollars. Yay! Twenty five dollars for the office. Visit. Also, we have to get a new bowl because she's allergic to her dog bowl. Yeah, so she has like we found like a little like rash underneath her chin, and the vet's like, oh yeah, she that's the plastic from her bowl. They're like feed her in a metal bowl. But she has to have that feeder bowl, so I had to find one on Amazon. Yeah, she has to have, like, a puzzle bowl because otherwise she horks her food down. She's definitely my child, right? <laughs> like, she, she just eats her food so fast, like, it, she makes herself sick. Yep. So, I was thinking, we went and got her done. Since it's not, like, an infection or anything like yeah. that, she's, like, not contagious. Want to go take her to the dog park? Yes! Let's go take her to the dog park. Get she's some of that energy out. She's never been to this dog park. We have a brand new dog park near us. So yeah. We'll go walk around the dog park for a little while. Make some friends. <laughs> Tabitha, you want to go to the park? Want to go to the park? Take your park. You want to go to the park? Oh, my poor baby with I all know. her little ball patches. Poor little thing. You're pretty, though. I still think you're pretty. She's Mommy. expensive. Mommy has a bald spot, too. <laughs> I feel better knowing that this and is And daddy's just, completely bald. I feel better knowing that this is just like an allergic reaction. Yeah. I, I mean, they did skin scrapings and everything. So the, so the vet was like, it's an allergic reaction. That's what this is. You know, so, you know, they gave her a shot of like, I don't know, some kind of like uh, steroid to help with the itching. Mm -hmm. And then she's got medication to help get the stuff down so that she doesn't chew herself raw. Yeah. She does look a little bit worse also because we shaved her to see what her skin yep, looked like. Because we were worried. I felt like her long hair was lying to us, which it was, right? Yeah. Like her long hair that was over all of her little, you know, bare patches was saying, oh, no, we're fine here. But, yeah, at least she has no sores. Nothing is bumpy or sores. Right. It's just, that's okay. Mommy will just dye you purple. How about that? <laughs> Going to the dog park. Going to the dog park. Go into the dog park, make some new friends. Yay! I just think it's funny to watch Rachel watch walk Tabitha because I believe that she is walking Rachel right now. She definitely gives me an interesting gait. <laughs> so we walked up here before we knew the rules of the park. It's open every day from 8 a.m. until sunset, except Tuesdays. And guess what? It's a Tuesday. I was wondering why nobody I'm was I'm so here. sorry, Tabitha. She's like, but I smell fun. There's fun in there. Well, maybe we'll come back up tomorrow. All right. I came straight in and put my pajama <laughs> pants on tonight. So once again, we did not abide by our rule of eating all of our meals before seven o'clock. We had a church staff meeting. Yeah, which we kind of forgot about. Well, I shouldn't say forgot about, but we didn't plan our day according to eating no, around church like staff meeting. adjusting the hours. Like we, well, the problem is, is we didn't get home from all our nonsense this morning till two o'clock. And then we were getting ready to leave for our staff meeting at like 6.15. I'm like, I'm not hungry. I only ate three hours ago. Yeah. It's raining again. Of course it's raining again. It's Florida. That's great sleeping weather. I love sleeping when it's raining outside. Yeah, I do. I fall asleep to, to like the rain. Only now we're eating at 9 o'clock at night, so I'm not going to want to go to sleep. I know I might. Yeah, I've got early morning prayer. It starts at 6 a.m. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So. So, yeah. But that, that was her whole thing. She got really excited about that. 
Then we went to the vet, and because the vet like squeezed me in, that was a couple hours and more people for her to be super excited about. Right. And when the vet said, why does she think she's a lap dog? I'm like, it's my wife's fault. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, because for six months she carried her around everywhere. I mean, I think for the first three, three months that we had Tabitha, which was from like 12 weeks to like six months old, I don't think Tabitha's feet ever hit the floor. She's my baby. Yeah. Well, now you can't carry her anymore. She's Tabitha. my pony. Come here, baby. She's my pony. There she is. And then, of course, we got our hopes up. We took her for a walk. We're going to the dog park. She's never been to a dog park. She got super excited. We walk all the way down there to find out that the park is closed on Tuesdays. Just on Tuesdays. Just on Tuesdays. So now we're going to have to bring her back. We did get a good walk in, though, because it was like almost a mile in each direction. Yeah. But it was very hot out. I'm actually glad we didn't overexert her. So. So are you enjoying Keto Chow? I'm enjoying Keto Chow only. Hey, Tabitha, why don't you get down? She's off. Like, no, we're making out. Off. Damn. Get off. 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 Good girl. Good girl. So I'm enjoying Keto Chow, except for it was a little late. But Chris, the owner of Keto Chow, put a thing on, I think it was Facebook, right? Yeah, I think like, so. Oh, by the way, if you are doing Keto Chow for three meals a day and only eating Keto Chow, it's perfectly normal for you to get cleaned out. Yeah, and I was like, I, I sent him a text message like, it's a little late for you to be telling me that. And oh, by the way, it didn't start on day two. It started like meal two of day one. I, well, it was, you know what? I, this is probably TMI, but I am just loving the clean out. Like, you know, everybody complains on keto, like, I need to go to the bathroom more. Like, what about constipation and stuff? There is nothing in my colon. I personally like, love the feeling. I, I know, <laughs> yeah, this is way too much information, but I like the feeling. Rachel used to be like, what do you mean? I'm like, I want to have diarrhea. <laughs> I love it. That I just awful. feel so clean when you do it. You're just, you feel like there's, there's like- Nothing I, left in your system. Nothing left in your system and you're starting with a clean slate. Oh my lord! Can you please cut that out? No, I'm not. I cutting love that diarrhea. Out. Absolutely, I'm putting so, that on a shirt. But <laughs> that's a new shirt. So yeah, now see, so he put that up, and I was just cracking up laughing because I'm like, yeah, like you telling me that a little too late. <laughs> it was a happy surprise. So there were a couple times where Joe and I were like racing to the bathroom, but like. I cut across the bed. She like so hopped across the bed. I got there first. I didn't think she could move that fast. Rachel for the win. <laughs> I'm just destroying the kids' bathroom. I know. There's like caution tape across the bathroom doorway. <laughs> no, but overall, like I'm enjoying it. I'm having taco again because I have one orange and one taco left. And then we have, I'm going to have to do some meal prep tomorrow. We're not going to videotape all the meal prep. We'll just kind of show what we're making. I am in love with this chocolate toffee. Just in love with it. But I really like the taco one. But I'm, I am adding more salt to it because I like everything salty now. And then I've got an orange and a taco left, so I'm going to do... I, I didn't want to do the orange tonight because then I'm drinking taco for breakfast. I don't think I want taco for breakfast. And they were serving food tonight, like at our staff meeting, like Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Both grilled chicken. Yeah, they even got grilled because we have a couple of people who like are gluten-free. Gluten -free. And then they know that we like don't eat carbs. And I, I kind of felt bad because like they, did, they got the grilled chicken. But. I really appreciate like... I really appreciate anybody that just kind of goes that extra mile and yep. said like, hey, I know you, you guys need grilled chicken. Right. So they had some options for us, but we're like, yeah, we've, we're, we're it not It always able to happens eat. like this, all right? We enter some weird challenge. And then we can't eat. And then we can't eat to go someplace. I mean, you would be proud of me, though, because yesterday when I went to Costco to get the butter, I'm walking through Costco and they're doing all the samples, right? And every sample was like keto friendly. Every one of them. Like there was a salami one and they were sampling the pulled pork. And like that awesome them. pulled pork. Like five different cheese stations. And I'm like, of all the, usually you go there and you can't eat half the samples, right? Because they're like cake or pasta. crackers or pasta or chicken nuggets. But you didn't eat them? I didn't eat any of them. High five. So, but overall, I'm loving it. I'm full. I was going to say, when they had all this food spread out, and not just like food we've gotten over, but like keto food, yep. keto friendly food, I was not a lick hungry. No. Like, not I haven't hungry been hungry for at any all. of it. So, very like satisfying. I do like, I still enjoy eating my food, but I can definitely see 
keeping some keto chow and, and on hand for just those times where like, hey, I don't feel like cooking. I don't have time to cook. I just want something quick. I want something easy to go on the way out the door. I have to say that like coming home from a meeting and it's like nine o'clock, like it, we were like we came in the door and I could get my meal. It was nice to go jump into the refrigerator. Like I don't have to also cook. Yeah. I do want to say before we close it out, a few people have left comments about questioning. Like even though I know Chris has answered it. Um with the doing the butter and then putting it in the refrigerator, uh -huh. it does not solidify. I mean, this Rachel's came right out of the refrigerator. I actually heated mine up because I'm drinking obviously taco soup. Yeah. Um, but no, it actually comes out. It's thicker, like a thick milkshake from sitting in there, but it's not like solidified. And I think the taste is better the oh, next morning. It's so, so good. It's like taking water and squeezing a lemon in it. It tastes good right then and there. Yeah. But let that lemon sit in there for like a day. And now it's like you're drinking lemonade. Yeah. Right? It's going to so change that. It's just lemons much attitude. richer, much thicker. I, I don't know. I mean, it's great as soon as you mix it. But if you can let it sit a day, meal prep the day before. Whole nother level. It's a whole nother level. So, well, I think that's the end of today's vlog. Yay, well, tomorrow we'll try to get ourselves into this more. Not well, tomorrow... We have to, when I get home from work, we have to go down to the Sam's Club in Sunrise because Shammy. Shammy is on a road show there and we are going to get Shammy. Yes, but we can have butter in our stuff. So Yeah, that would be expensive butter, but I'm still thinking about possibly trying. Do it with one and have like a... Let's do it with one, even though it's like $6 a tub. It'll be like the champagne of, of keto chow. I love it. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down below, guys, how you guys are doing for those of you who are doing this Keto Chow yeah. Challenge with us. Let us know what how you're doing. What flavors are you enjoying? Yeah, what flavors are you using? Or if you're not doing the challenge, I mean, a few people have said they're like, hey, I'm ordering somewhere. I've just ordered. Let us know what flavors What you flavors want. did you get? Yep. Tomorrow, I'm going to use, I'm going to make up some vanilla for myself and I'm going to add some, a couple of drops of like flavoring drops. I've got some like flavoring drops, so like a pineapple or something like that. I'm going to, I'm going to experiment a little bit with that. Fun. So. So if you like what you saw today, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.